Some COQ10 supplements use sunflower lecithin as a part of their delivery system. In those cases, the sunflower lecithin is included to enhance absorption since COQ10 is fat soluble and it's poorly absorbed on its own. So the lecithin acts as an emulsifier to help the COQ10 mix with water and pass through cell membranes more efficiently. It's very easy to confuse sunflower oil and sunflower lecithin and I get it, they sound very familiar, but they couldn't be more different in how they affect your body. Sunflower oil is a refined industrial seed oil. It's extremely high in omega-6 and when you consume that in excess, it throws out omega-3 to omega-6 ratio and this can contribute to chronic low-grade inflammation and it's really not good, especially if you're suffering with PCOS. And when your body is inflamed, your hormones suffer on top, your ovulation might become irregular and your fertility will take a hit eventually. Now, sunflower lecithin, on the other hand, is completely different. It's extracted from the fatty portion of the sunflower, but it doesn't contain the same high levels of inflammatory omega-6 fats. Instead, it's totally rich in phospholipids, which support brain function, it supports your bile flow, it supports fat metabolism and it also can prevent fat accumulation in your liver which is really important because your liver is your detoxification organ number one. And if you're working on egg quality then this is also good for you because it supports healthy membranes. For most women sunflower lecithin is well tolerated and can be very gentle support for things like improving your cervical mucus or it's stabilizing fats in your homemade milk alternatives or supplements. But of course if you've got a sunflower allergy or you react to anything in the extraction process then this is not for you. So the takeaway is sunflower oil is best honestly avoid it not just limit it if you can avoid it especially when you're healing inflammation or fertility issues but sunflower lecithin on the other hand used in moderation and when tolerated can actually be helpful in certain therapeutic situations so if your coq10 supplement comes with sunflower lecithin that's absolutely fine